Okay, to uh, test linearity for the model as a whole, for all the variables at once, we'll first get the predicted values, and we'll do that by using the predict command for model 7. So what that'll do is it'll give you the values that for specific, whatever the values were for a particular observation in your data set for, in our case, advertising, price difference, and shelf location. We'll take model 7 and predict what we would have gotten what if we were right on the line for that. Of course, there will be uh, residuals around that. And um, that's the next thing we'll do is we'll compute those studentized residuals. Let me erase that here so you see. Uh, and then, so we'll get the residuals around the line, and we'll look to see if we have residuals um, evenly distributed around that line. And that'll be one way that we look at uh, whether or not we have linearity. Now, of course, we're going to, uh, have this as a horizontal thing, and what we're going to be looking at is looking for is a, uh, a horizontal band. Let's uh, run this, and then I'm just going to look here at the unstandardized predicted. And you can see, for example, on the 400th observation, that we would have predicted 9.90 uh, as our uh, prediction, and then we'll get the uh, residuals. Now we got to Get the whole line there. And then we could look at those. And we'll see that we barely missed uh, on there. Um, but this would be the distance that we missed by. And then we'll just do a plot. Of course, you do that for all of them. You get the predicted and the studentized residuals. And then make the plot here. And you should have a horizontal band values going about the same on either side of a uh, zero here, where zero would be the lines that are right on the uh, line with no residual, or with a residual of zero. And here's a citation for you. It's also on my web um, page that you can look to get a little bit more understanding of that if you'd like.